I'm Chef Mark with LearnToCook.com. Today's session, we'll be making twice baked potatoes, a great dish, a favorite of many people. Get yourself some nice Idaho russets. You want to be sure that you scrub them well under hot water because they are an agricultural product. Make sure there's no damaged or bruised areas because you're going to show the skin as part of the presentation. We're going to bake them twice. We bake them once, of course, to get them soft, softened. So we can cut them in half, scoop out the pulp, as we call it, the interior, and then we mix that um, with any number of uh, ingredients, bacon, butter, sour cream, uh, cheese, uh, Parmesan cheese, cheddar cheese, and then we refill the potato once it's baked and bake it a second time. A little melted butter, Parmesan cheese, some paprika. So, it's a labor of love, but it's a wonderful dish, twice baked potato. So I've oiled both of them. I'm going to put them in this Pyrex dish because once I fill them, I want them to fall over. So I like to use some with sides, but for now they can bake. It doesn't make a difference. And we'll show you how to process them the second time. So into a 350 degree oven, they go. So now that we have the potato already baked once for a twice baked potato, we want to make sure that it's cooked all the way through, so it's very important to check to make sure that it is cooked all the way through. Beautiful. We're going to want to cut this and cut the top off, about a third of the top off. Maybe we'll make two twice-baked potatoes. They're really nice. It's more or less a potato where you have um, mashed the pulp, the inside. So that's what we take out. We actually use some of the, the pulp. On the potato, we discard that skin, use it for some other purpose. And then we take out the, the pulp, potato pulp, because we're going to bake it a second time with its new and improved filling. Instead of just potato, it's going to have cheese and bacon or diced ham. Put pieces of shrimp in there, lobster meat. So that's twice baked, right? Baked once, and now we um, take out the other one as well. We'll make two. So scoop out the, the lid for its, for its filling. Then scoop out. You can see it's cooked all the way through. Beautiful, it flaked up very nicely. Cook beautifully. Then we put these in the bottom of a glass dish so that they sit up. Casserole dish, I kind of like to have the this side, kind of keeps it from falling over. There's your filling. As you can see, you can add a little melted butter. You can do olive oil if you like, melted butter. That looks good. Put some uh, chopped bacon or chopped prosciutto in there as well, diced ham, you put diced vegetables there you like, put a little parmesan cheese, I'll add some sour cream to that as well, a little salt and pepper, use some Tabasco sauce if you like in there to spark it up a little bit, you can put in corn, black beans, cooked, whatever filling you like for your twice baked potatoes. So we mash that up, as you can see. So it's a mashed pulp filling. So the size is the limit. You can put peas in there, or it smells wonderful. Anything else you'd like to add? Let's taste the filling. That's important to taste while you're cooking, so you know there's no surprise to the guest. Mm, nice flavor. Does it eat anything? I was lucky that time. So now we're going to fill up the potato. So, like I said, any filling would work. You want to put in there. The sky's the limit. So fill it back up. And cook, put, 
Put pieces of beef in there, usually pre-cooked items. You wouldn't want to put raw pieces of beef or, of course, ham's already cured, so. So these are nice. You can actually freeze them at this point in time and then, you know, defrost them and bake them, which is nice about twice baked. So let's finish that off with just some more grated cheese on the top. We want to put it in a 225-350 degree oven so that uh, it'll, it'll heat very nicely. You can even heat this in a microwave, right, because it's already done. And we'll put uh, a little paprika on it. Just a little bit to help the color along. You put diced red pepper in there. And you put chili powder on the top. So there you have it. You're beautiful. Twice-baked potato. Enjoy.